Good evening, Color of Truth family. This is Professor Greed coming with another segment of Color of Truth where we unveil the real color of all truth. Today I want to share with you this great read by Keith C. Holmes, Black Inventors, Crafting Over 200 Years of Success. I even like the cover. Yeah. And um, I think it's a wonderful read. I've been kind of going into about some of the black inventors that we probably never heard about. I know I've never heard about and some of the inventions. Um, just as some of the documentarians assert that in order to subjugate a people, you have to make them believe that they never contributed anything to society and they won't contribute anything to society. I think that was from the Hidden Colors documentary by Tariq Nasheed that I um, heard that phrase and it and it sticks, it resonated well with me because a lot of these individuals that I found to be great inventors in the contribution, I never knew. I always thought Europeans or whites created and invented most of the stuff we use, but in turn, a lot of inventions that were made by black people and African people and people of the African diaspora was stolen or inventions that was never able to be patented by black people, but then again, it there were. So I'm going to just kind of read a little bit of this book and hopefully you all will get it. I kind of want to show some great reads in hopes that, you know, You'll go out and take the time and research and read and study um, from people who took the time, uh, great scholars who took the time to do the research. All right. So the preface of this book talks about the inventiveness and creativity are inherent in all races. But I'm particularly talking about the black race because. As I said before, I've always thought that we never invented anything. And later on, as I did my study, you know, historian is really, if you look at the definition of historian, it's just a student of history. You know, a lot of people go get a degree to become a historian. But if you just do a lot of self-study by scholars who have written um, articles and books about certain topics as it relates to history, then you basically a historian. Now, I don't classify myself as a historian, but I classify myself as a student of history. So really that made me a historian, all right? So the invention process did not originate in Europe. It began in one of the oldest known civilizations of the world, Egypt or ancient Kemet. Inventions were introduced by the original inhabitants of Kemet who by all accounts, drawings, statues, and scrolls were black. Many of today's inventions have their own roots in the ancient civilization of Kemet, Mesopotamia, Sum, Sumer, and Indus Kush, or the Kush Empire. The inventions from these ancient civilizations were transferred to sub-Saharan Africa and indeed to the rest of the world. There was a working relationship between blacks north and south of the Sahara Desert. Although many inventions are particularly list, listed as having originated in Egypt, they were likely developed by Africans beyond the borders of ancient Egypt. The following list of inventions is from the ancient Egyptian material industries by A. Lucas and J.R. Harris. Say that one more again. The following list of inventions is from the Ancient Egyptian Materials and Industries by A. Lucas and J.R. Harris. That's where he borrowed, that's where he borrowed his sources from. The countless paintings, statues, and figurines from ancient Egypt depict brown and black people with African features that clearly resemble those of black people in the diaspora. The following list of ancient Egyptian innovations and inventions is by no means exhaustive, but it provides an idea of the link between today's industries and the inventions of ancient Egypt and Kemet. So he go on the list, and I'm going to read them all. He go on the list, all these inventions, 
and uh, ways of innovations of ancient Egypt who contributed so much to the world. And I never understood, and I don't know you Christian and theologians out there, I never kind of understood, um, you know, growing up in Christianity, you know, we always, even though e Egypt contributed so much to the world, it always was looked at as the house of bondage, scripturally. But, uh, you know, when I go to different museums all around the country, I noticed that Egypt is always separated from Africa. It always has its own exhibit. I mean, it sit right there at the top. If I had a map, I could show it to you. Or you could look at it for yourself. And then I see the people in the hieroglyphs that look just like, that have melanated skin like me or darker. And they say now when you go in some of the pyramids, they kind of have light in the skin tone of the uh, Egyptians. But you can see all the contributions. You can see them um, agriculture. You can see them with um, uh, domesticating animals. And, you know, and they're even, I've watched some documentaries where there's even uh, showing some of the hieroglyphs of something resembling a helicopter in the hieroglyphs. You know, um, some scholars have said that the pyramids was overlaid with copper and gold in the inside that filtrated light through that little hole in the top and pretty much electricity before electricity and lighted the whole pyramid. I mean, some may try to refute that, but you can go there and I watch a lot of documentaries that depict this. But I digress. Let me get back on the topic. So ancient Egypt's innovations and inventions. Adhesives, products used to make inventions. So you're talking about ancient Egypt now. Alu uh, albums, beeswax, clay, gelatin, glue, gum, gypsum, nitron, resin, soda, starch, salt, miscellaneous and unidentified adhesives, agriculture, almonds, barley, dates, figs, garlic, ginger, grapes, Lentils, lettuce, maize, millets, olives, onions, palm, sorghum, and etc. Alcoholic beverages, beer and brewing, wine and wine making, distilled spirits, malts, and sugar. And and and, and a later um in a, one of the later videos I'm gonna talk about brewing in African culture. You know, beer. And how they uh, spearheaded and invented the way to make beer and barleys and, uh, and different other uh, brewing methods um, in Africa. I would have never thought about Africa and brewing beer. Animal products, bone, butter, cheese, feathers, gut, hair, horn, ivory, leather, mother of pearl, ostrich eggshell parchment, tortoise shell, marine, and freshwater shells, animal husbandry, camels, cattle, goats, horses, ducks, chicken, beekeeping, beeswax, honey, basketry, coal basketry, twine work, matting work, beverages and wine, grapes, dates, palms, building material, asphalt, brick, and brick making, cement, gypsum, Stone, mortar, plaster, sun-dried brick, wood, clay, bricks, mortar, plaster, pottery, cosmetics, perfumes, essential oil, incense, cleansing creams. Remember, they buried their dead. You know, they embalmed. They were the first to come up with embalming methods, Egyptians. And they would inline the, the body with, you know, with incense, myrrh, frankincense. Okay, dyes, Egyptian blue, indigo, black, brown, green, purple, red, yellow. You can see it all in the hieroglyphs. And, and, and some scholars would assert that they took and mashed down all of the different um, variation of leaves and made a, made a paint or a paste out of the variation of leaves for the different seasons. Embalming and funeral rites, ritual ceremonies to bury the dead properly mummifications, fibers, basketry, brushes, cordage, matting, papyrus, woven fabrics, spinning, addition, 
weaving linen and other materials, glazed well, glazed statite, fianced variants, glazed quartz, glazed pottery, glazing methods and media, kilns, gums and resins, acaia, cedar, copal, frankincense, myrrh, pine, ink, pigment, black, brown, green, blue, gray, orange, red, white, yellow, metals and alloys, aluminum, aluminum, antimony, antibody, brass, cobalt, which is made that, that um, uh, the Congo, uh, there's a guy that wrote, uh, wrote a book called um, Cobalt Red, and uh, talking about how they're digging for cobalt, which is used for cell phones and other electronical device, and how the people are being crushed in the mines digging for cobalt. Um, copper, copper alloy, alloy, copper gold alloy, copper lead alloy, bronze and bronze lead alloys, gold electrum, hematite, iron, iron copper alloy, lead, lead copper alloy, lead tin alloy, platinum, silver, tin, minerals, alum, barites, cobalt, compounds, emery, feldspar, graphite, magnesium compounds, mica, natron, nitrate, salt, and sulfur, mineral spirits, turpentine, alcohol, oil, fats, and waxes, almond oil, belanoise oil, bean oil, castor oil. When I was younger, that was a medicine, castor oil. For some of you all that grew up, I don't know what your ethnicity is, but in the black culture, you took cast oil when you got sick. Cast oil and car liver oil when I was a little boy. I got sick. I took some cast oil, went to the bathroom and heated up. And we used to heat the cast oil up. Y'all drop a comment about this. We used to heat the cast oil on top of the stove sitting in the pot of water that was a natural humidifier that my grandmother would have. You know, it was a humidifier machines. You put a pot of water on the gas stove, and then we would put it in that or put it in a pot of boiling water or lukewarm water to loosen the cast all up. You drink that, you would you take a tablespoon of that and suck a lemon or orange or drink some orange juice and you good. Coconut oil, coconut lymph oil, croton oil, frankincense, juniper oil, lettuce oil, lilies oil, lentils oil. Mallow bathroom oil, myrrh, olive, palm, radish oils, safflower, sesame oil, and walnut oil. See, these are old remedies that we need to get back to. Paints and pigments, of course, black, blue, brown, green, gray, orange, pink, red, white, and yellow. Plants, cattails, juniper berries, palms, precious and semi-precious stones, diamonds, emeralds, gold, opal, ruby, silver. Stock up on that stuff. Your diamonds ain't the only precious jewel. You know, you got emeralds and gold. I love gold. Opal, ruby. Pottery and pottery making. Kilns, miles, varnish, glaze, polishing. All that nice pottery. Spices, cinnamon, dill, cumin, parsley, onions, stones, other building stones, precious stones, stone vessels, granites, limestone, sandstone, textiles. Cotton cloth, tools, chisels, brushes, dowels, hinges, nails, axes, plows, wood, foreign timber, Egyptian timber, beech wood, birch, carol wood, cypress wood, ebony, elm, fig, horn beans, lime wood, maple, wood, woodworking, bark, silicified wood, silicified wood, charcoal, plywood. Okay, and the second part of this. It says that African develops their own innovations and intervention. Below is a list of industry, crafts, traditions developed in Africa prior to the arrival of Europeans. I'm going to say that one more again. Africans develop their own innovations and inventions. Below is a list of industries, crafts, and traditions developed in Africa prior to the arrival of Europeans. Agriculture. Ag in agriculture. Cultivating grasses into grain crops, crom crom, maize, millet, finger pearl, shama, guinea, sorghum, turf, terrace, irrigation, African rice, emmer, Ethiopian oats, fenoy, 
irregular barley. Animal husbandry, again, camel, cattle, donkeys, goats, horses, mules. Animal products, milk, meat, fish, fresh and dried fish. Animal hides, leather, ivory. Architecture and building, bricks, sinking well shafts, earthwork systems, houses, irrigation systems and buildings. And when I go to a lot of plantations like the Whitney Plantation, if you all happen to have been, um, I was taught by Brother Eli. Uh, shout out to Brother Eli, who is one of the tours at the Whitney Plantation, which the house that Jingle was filmed sit on. They got two big houses on that uh, sugar plantation down in Louisiana. And I visit that, and, he, and Brother Eli was the one that taught me about the flying staircases and how African architecture, one form of it, is the front door and the back door faced each other, and the back door or the front door would be facing the river. So when both doors are open simultaneously, then the cool breeze would come in and cool the whole house. The flying staircase with no closets or no other closets so that they will take, no, take up no space. And so if anybody know about African architecture and can add to that or even correct me, then you can. All right. And most of the plantations were created like that. But some other plantations, houses, big houses would not, you know, say that was African architecture. They would try to say it's Greek architecture or Roman architecture. And they may have some variations. But remember, the Greeks and the Romans borrowed from the Africans and people of African descendancy. Beverages, cocoa, coffee. We're going to talk about in one of our videos how coffee is native to certain African cultures and cultivated in certain African cultures. So if you're a coffee lover like I am, I drink a lot of coffee, then it's because it's the African descendancy in me or the African in me. I'm a descendant of it. Cola, sorrel, garum beer, millet beer. I don't know what millet beer is, but I'm going to find out. Ceramics, pots, plates, bowls, ceremony, religion, rituals, development of priests and priestesses, initiation system, transform boys and girls into men and women, naming and marriage ceremony, strengthening spiritual ties with God and our ancestors, knowledge of supreme being, that was already embedded in us, dyes, indigo, cow wood, cola nuts, redwood tree, tie dye. Fibers, baskets, string, instruments, cords, furniture, mats, hats, nets, uh, shields, straps, tools, furniture, musical instruments, drinking straws, food, drinking straws? All right, we got to find that. Drinking straws. Food, over 2,000 plants have been identified as a food source in Africa. African eggplant, African yam beans, anchoed, avocado, hardball. Red fruit, cashew fruit, sizaki, coconut, guinea yam, potato yam, other yams, bananas, bush beans, ethian mustards, cashews, cola, cow peas, ground nuts, okra, guava, hazel yams, mango, papaya, pentaga cherry, plantains, pomegranate, Sudan potato, sweet potato, livingstone potato, wing bean root, ginger, tiger nut. Saba nut, vigna roots, bananas, watermelon, melon, girls, funeral rites, rituals, and ceremony to bury the dead properly, kinship, queenship, mothership, development of kings, queens, mothers, and chiefs, mining, precious stones, mineral, copper, diamond, gold, iron, metal smell, silver, tin, and uranium, oil, palm butter, palm oil, she butter, olive. Other, coffee, cotton, dyes, gum, ivory, leather, palm, pepper, ground nut. Tools, axe, hold, knives, spears, bows, and arrows. Nets, traps, snares, blades, harpoon points, arrow points, hammers, hairpins made of copper, iron, ivory, and wood. Traditional medicine and plants. Today, 80% of people in Africa use traditional healers and medicine. South Africa alone has over 24,000 indigenous plants, which represent 10% of the Earth's higher plants. 23 African nations fully recognize the work, practice, and services that traditional African healers have been providing to Africans. Thousands of plants used for their 
uh, curative properties are not recognized and are being patented. All right. So that's just a little brief about all the inventions and innovations of not only people in Egypt, but also people in the African diaspora, which transitioned to African descendants, which transitioned to us. So we need to tap into our true creativity and innovation and stop being distracted, falling for the okie doke and also falling for the diversionary tactics and get back to the creative people that we are. And I didn't know. I thought it was only swollen bellies and barefooted children running around, feed the children, feed the hungry, which was the same looking children that it was when I was two and three and four years old watching it on TV. And it's still being perpetuated. The lie, the myth, never knew about the cities and the skyscrapers in Africa. So we need to research the stuff and visit over there so that we can see ourselves in our past and then we will help a better outcome for our future color of truth comment like and subscribe drop a comment